YouTube with your boy Mike McFly and uh, we're about to head to uh, the Wrestling Universe in Queens, New York, deep in Queens, with my boy Jay Stone, with my boy Reem. Uh, he's going along with the pop hunt today, it's his first time pop hunting. Yeah, we got him into the Funko family, so uh, yeah, we're gonna check it out, see what the they choo -choo got. The choo-choo trains, the choo-choo trains. Yeah, I don't know, you guys can see. Metro no, no, not Metro no, I don't even know what that is. But um, let's get straight to the video, man. We're gonna see what they got at the Wrestling Universe store. No, you know what I'm gonna do? I can't get copy. Alright guys, so we right now walking to uh we gotta take a bus because uh the place is basically like almost it's in Queens, but it looks like that that shit is on the border of Long Island or something. I don't know. But uh That's squid yeah. bro. That's squid. That's squid. <laughs> yeah, they got a lot of places to eat out here in Flushing, New York. You ever come to Flushing? Japanese. They got a lot of Japanese, Korean Chinese. food, this Chinese food. It's a nice little neighborhood. But uh, yeah, we're gonna take this trip to Wrestling Universe. Hopefully it's not a long bus ride. <laughs> All right, we just got here. We're gonna go inside, see how it looks. The All right, we're here. The they got some cool pops in here. I don't like I'm that. that Rock Chase. I need it. It's the Rock it's Chase right there. No, that's not. That's, yeah, I got that Shawn Michaels. Yeah, I got that Shawn Michaels. They got Ronda Rousey, Diesel. Oh, what do you think? Can't see me, John Cena. Right there. You they got the Vince right here. You can't see me, John Cena. They got Goldberg signed. Yeah, how much it and then they got autographed pictures. Could to get closer to there. See how they look up close. See these are the collectibles that they have, the figures. All these figures look cool in here. Fresh. All of them. They even have the classics. They have a lot of classics over here. Becky Lynch. Alexa Bliss. And every wrestling fan should come in here. Literally. The Rousey, Stephen McMahon. Yeah. Amazing Jean. Amazing Jean. Here's the other figures that they got here. Shinsuke, Undertaker. Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins when he fought against Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. Another Seth Rollins. Roman Reigns. They got a whole bunch of figures, guys. Shane McMahon. I forgot her name. Kelly Kelly? Kelly Kelly. Yeah, you got all the classic wrestlers that come here. The Brew. A lot of the Brew. The Brew. The Legends. My man. The Boogie Man. Right? I, uh, Sabu. It's a nice little spot to go to, guys. They have a lot of things. Like Danny Bryan with the. The hemp dope. It's hilarious. Lucha House Party. Right there. Classic Jake the Snake. A lot of classic, a lot of classic figures over here, guys. And then over here they have uh, the classics from the Ruthless Aggression era. We got Undertaker. Man, this is yo, this is all. I remember all this when I was young, man. When I was like a baby. This is when I was a baby right here. Nasty Boys, The Rock. Original John Cena. Taz. I look, I look, Taz looked too brolic there. They got a lot of classic stuff over here, guys. It's a very cool store to go to. A lot of throwback stuff. Wow, man. This is like bringing back memories coming over here. Oh man. Look at Chris Jericho. Another Chris Jericho. Look at Kurt Angle. Look at Rikishi. 
on Henry Kishi. They had a lot of stuff. Old WCW figures too. Huh. That's badass. That, yo, that looks just like him. Finn Balor. I'm telling you guys, every wrestling fan should come in here. You guys know I'm a big wrestling fan. And, uh, yeah. Everything. Signed, not signed. Look at that. Four horsemen pack signed. This is awesome. Samoa Joe. I remember when I got Samoa Joe autographed for SummerSlam weekend, he looked it like shit. <laughs> he was like, I'm on the road, man. That's when he did the, the Fatal 4 way. <laughs> Bobby, Lashley. Bobby Lashley. A lot of cool stuff here. Hulk so Hogan's you autograph. Right? Not really. Not right. really. No. Huh? He only did the ones of the him and Ellery. Really? That's yeah. Not. He was like, really, bro? <laughs> There's like one of the two Outside that he spun and he slid him over and he used his right hand to like move him over or something. I think when they get pressured, they start doing this on purpose. Huh? Nasty boys do it on purpose. Yeah, now we're going to die. I don't think the order of your animal does it on purpose. He just... Yeah, he just did by animal. He just won't sign. Bill Bailey told me Luger does it on purpose. Yeah. Alright, Jack. I'll see you tomorrow, man. Alright, bro. Thanks. Thank you. All right, so we just got here. All right, guys, thanks. Thank you, much, Thank you. appreciate it. All right, so uh, we just walked out of Wrestling Universe. Got some three pops, got a chase, the rock chase, and now uh, about to head home. Jay Stone, Jay Stone got a show, show what you got. Yeah. Jay Stone got a limited edition Edge. That's look hot. That's gonna be worth money. My boy Rain, Rain got nice Hulk Hogan Walmart exclusive. I got, I, I'll show you guys when I get to the house. But it's a nice wrestling store, man. Like, I don't know, living in this city my whole life, I don't know how we never been there. We wrestling big time fans. wrestling fans, yeah. and um, I was gonna buy a replica belt. They had a Bret Hart. I show you on the video, a Bret Hart belt that was going for five hundred, but they had the AEW belt, and he said uh, two hundred, and I couldn't believe it because replicas are usually going for three, three fifty. But uh, you think you know me? You think you know me? <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a nice store. So uh, definitely glad that I went there. I definitely will be coming back. Uh, great experience. So uh, now we gotta eat pizza. Head, eat pizza. Find something to eat and. Hopefully that it gets better. All right, so so uh, we decided to come to Target before we head out and. Uh... Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, <laughs> he's out of here. He's taking out. <laughs> they have the thing. Uh, they have the Doc Holiday. It's a pretty cool pop from the movie. Some Mandalorian pop. This is basically like a Star Wars. They don't really have nothing else here. Yeah, but these two. No, 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 no. Which one, them? Doodle. 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 Yeah, they don't really have nothing else in here. Doodle. Everything, yeah, it's pretty light over here. They do have a lot of pops, but, but yeah, so far we don't see nothing, no crazy exclusives. So, yeah, we just came in here to check that out to see what they had. You never know, could get lucky in the Target, but. Yeah, I think we gotta head out. So I just got back. Now let's take a look at what I got. First is Triple H, Skull King, number 52. There is a chase version of him to this. The chase version has a basically just the skull, um, his skull helmet on, um, helmet on top of him. That's all, it's pretty cool actually. This one I believe is going for about, I think 20. Oh, no, no, it was 20, I think it went down to 12. I paid $20 for this at the store. But uh, the Chase is going for $45. Chase looks cool, too. I'm looking for the Chase as well. I do have a lot of uh, WWE Funko Pops. You know, I do collect that line. So, so you can see the box is in mint condition as well. Mint condition box and factory code. So you can see stamped on the bottom. But yeah, this is a great looking pop. Uh, I don't have the original Triple H. They had the original Triple H, I believe, with the WWE belt on. 
but I don't. I think they just added the belt on there. I think that's like from a wrestling convention because of the original common vaulted Triple H pop is just him with no belt, and that one had a belt. I didn't want to get it because the box on the bottom was beat up. But yeah, so got this one. This one's a common, but I can't find this common nowhere. But yeah, I paid twenty. Not bad. I just needed it. I like the way it looks. So here's one of the other three uh, Funko Pops that I got today. Here's the second one. Second one is John Cena, You Can't See Me. Now, this one has a WWE sticker on here. This is from the WWE Funko, uh, I mean Funko, <laughs> the WWE Shop website. So you can see, box is in mint condition, mint condition box, and also factory code stamped right on the bottom. And this is one of the pops that I got from Amazon uh, last year or a few years ago. And it came in damage. I returned it to Amazon and it came back damaged again the second time. And that's why I was telling you guys in my earlier videos when it comes to Amazon that these pops that Amazon used to ship out, that now they're coming in box orders, it's, it's good. They're listening to the customers because before they just used to put this same pop in a box and said, okay, see you later. And that was it. Like uh, it came back the first time, it came back damaged. I had, I, you know, I returned it. And then the second time I'm thinking like, all right, they, they go to put in the box, you know, they go to put in a pop soda. I, you know, I told them what was the problem. No, they put the second pop right in the, in a regular box and it came back even worse. Tear it on top, tear it on the bottom and crushed on the side. I said, come on now, Amazon. So I'm glad now, cause I've been looking for this guy. I actually paid 20 for this one too, which is not bad. He's going for, I think 18 on PPG. I like, I like John Cena, you know, he's a good wrestler, but the fact that it's a, you can't see me pop and they have him basically in a way invisible like you can't see him it's funny so definitely a good concept by funko for doing this it's a good pop and last but not least i had to get him this was basically my my friends know family members know you know people in my neighborhood know like one of my favorite wrestlers if not the favorite wrestler growing up was none other than the rock <laughs> uh, this is you know the box is i'm not gonna lie give it like a, a eight out of ten because it has like a, i don't know if you guys can see it it has like a little crumble right here and I think uh and some wear and tear like right here on the corner but otherwise than that the box is in okay condition not the best condition I'm not gonna lie I did pay 40 because other places like eBay Macari they selling it for like 35 40 damage box and then 50 to 60 with good condition so I just jumped on it I, I definitely had to get it another chase in my collection I believe now I have 26 or 27 chases in my collection so yeah, I will do a video on my Chase collection. It's a lot. So, but um, yeah, I'm glad that I have this. Any WWE fan need to get a rock with his, you know, $500 T-shirt. He used to say. But um, the details on the pop looks great. Him with the people's eyebrow. I'm glad that I got this pop. Uh, another WWE pop in my collection. I believe now I have uh, I have to say maybe 20 to 25 in that range of WWE pops. Too many, a lot of vaulted stuff too, including Undertaker, Ultimate Warrior. I'm definitely gonna do a WWE Funko Pop view, just show my collection, uh, because uh, yeah, it's a lot. I have a lot of vaulted, and also uh, some of my friends, you know, look down and say, hey, you know, I know you're into Funko Pop here. Here's an Andre the Giant. Here's a you know a uh, Mick Foley, and I was just like, okay, thanks. And now those are going up in value. So yeah. Well, there you have it, collectors. Went to the Wrestling Universe today. Came away with these three Funko Pops. Glad that I got it. My WWE Funko Pop collection is getting bigger. Now that I got another chase, glad I got The Rock. That is my favorite wrestler <laughs> of all time. But yeah, guys, if you're new to the Funko community, if you're new to actually the wrestling, even collecting community as well, WWE Universe is a great store to go to, especially for those hardcore wrestling fans out there. If you've never been there and you come to visit New York City, it's located in Flushing, Queens, New York. It's a great store, man. Great customer service. Great guys working there. They have so many options when it comes to Funko Pops. And also, obviously, as you saw in the video, wrestling figures. From old to now to rare. Even chases. So, yeah, pretty good store to go to. Guys, let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed today's video. Also, if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. And also hit that notification bell to get updated on all my new videos. It was a great day today. Long day today. Glad to be home. You're watching McFly Collectibles. I'm out.